It looks like it's hot in here. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Haromoth was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin in sight of riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Ah yes, political squabblings, matching religious quarrels in sheer stupidity at times. Hi. Vienna, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Ah. So they're ones I should talk They've to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. You mentioned paragons? Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperet, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Yeah, I'll get going. Yes, you should. What a grumpy little man. So, let's look around. Hi, you have a name. Did you see that? I cannot believe what the city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. What do I know about this, Harrowmont? Lord Harrowmont should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the assembly to endorse Harrowmont. Why is such hate for this Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died up bed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Only as a potential match for one of his sons. He was a good king, stern and fair and just. He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered and the assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the ancestors in eternal peace. Balin didn't murder him himself. Okay, who are you? I am Narav Helmy, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmy. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you need? A Blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets! Yeah, I kinda noticed, but... I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. He might be able to get you an audience. Okay. Ooh, a floor carving. 
And there's a quest over there. I'll take a look at that in just a minute. You are uh, Nuck Wrangler Bowmore. That's a weird name. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've oh. gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they scare. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. What's a nuck? You gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Oh, so Nox animals. Well, if I find stranger, only need one to turn this around. If I see a Nox, I'll send it your way. Is this uh, is this a Nox that's squeaking? Oh, well there, that's a Nox. Like some cross between a dog, a rat, and a rabbit. Well, okay. Uh, have a knock. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. Got a knock for you. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude. But find a bunch more of these, and I'll toss you whatever I found. Oh, okay. Well, why not? Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? Well, yeah. You look like you're not from around here. Yeah? Oh, wonderful. I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the circle? <laughs> uh, I... Well, I'm a mage myself, and I have a senior enchanter here. Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. Why are you interested? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. Why wouldn't they? No dwarf has ever studied at the Circle of Magi. I guess you never read First Enchanter Caitlin's treatise concerning dwarfs and the non heritability of magic. He tested dwarfs from 20 bloodlines and found they couldn't perform any level of spell casting, regardless of lyrium exposure or time on the surface. The Circle speculates that lyrium in the stone shields us from spiritual influences and over time made us immune to them. You really? You really looked into this? So, what do you want? I want to go to the circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. Hmm. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. Why well, I can't see why not. Well, why not? That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Wow, she is excitable. Uh, but you do know, maybe take some time before we actually get back to the town. Well, you might have to wait a while. Excitable little kid. Okay. What's down here then? Jesus, must be hard in here. I mean, knock. Come here. Hi. What's this? A human? We make these tunnels tall enough for humans? <laughs> Sorry. I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. 
Don't let the comm fool you. The Darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Are they the only thing here? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Fantastic. I'll be going. All right. For your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Well, it sure is tall enough. It oh my god! Didn't notice that. Well, I kind of had my back to it. And jeez, I can't even begin to imagine how hot it must be in here. This must be insufferable. Well, for me at least. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that. The dwarf may be resistant to it, but I know I sure as hell wouldn't. Hmm, maybe there's a shop in here. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Jan R Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail. At Janars, we have everything from leather to platinum. Oh, are you a Dagnus Fowl? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface thing, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. No, she hasn't been a bother. Uh, she's just excitable. Well, let me know if she does trouble you any. She wants to become a mage. Ah, oh, that girl. I've been telling her for years to give up those foolish notions. Magic's a human trick. If Dagna wants enchantment, I can apprentice her to a lyrium crafter. This is Dagna's dream. If it makes her happy. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just the childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Please, don't encourage Dagna further. Tell her you were wrong and that her place is with her family. You do truly care about her, I can hear that. But I believe she should be able to choose her own path in life. So, let me hear more about this caste system. for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fall and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. Well, do I know anything? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, I cannot object. Them. Okay, let me see course, what I got. I keep in mind we also take items on trade. Sure, sure. Well, that's a lot. Might come back here later. Yes. you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. What were you praying for? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. He's gone missing? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud. They got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Did anyone go after him? The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by oh. dark spawn that way. Well, I'll look for him if I get the tutu. There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. 
<laughs> I'm a Grey Warden, that's what I do. So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. True. Please, find me as soon as you return. But it doesn't hurt looking. Drunken dwarves. What could be the harm in a few of those? Well, we might as well take a look. You have a... Oh, hello there. Maker's blessing on you, brother. Excuse me? I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Ah. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaper it, Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city. Every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Hmm. Well, if I bump into him, I can mention it for you. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Well, I'm not uh, that much into it, mind you. But I do believe in religious freedom. And it's only good for the Job Dwarfs to have something to choose from. Mm. Let's check that bar. I mean, all of them seem to have... They seem kind of... static.